morning you guys it's Karen and today I'm reviewing this Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defence. Um, I talked about the fact that I ordered this in that last um, video with all the sunscreens. I've actually found another two that I really like as well so I'm probably going to do reviews of those. I apologise for the lack of videos. I know there hasn't been one since that SPF one and things are probably going to be a little bit slower than usual here because Kev hurt his knee. We're not quite sure how he did it but it was severe you know he couldn't walk on it at all and so I have had to take over all the walk-in for Watson and I've been trying to do some of the cooking already um to help Kev because he's really busy at work and yeah it just was kind of the last straw on my already busy schedule um I've said to you guys before because it's lockdown we've got to do all of Watson's walks because the walker isn't able to work and I'm doing the shopping for my dad and I'm doing the shopping for us and of course it entails standing in queues etc so life is just a lot busier for me um I know it isn't for everybody and the thing with lockdown now is that Scotland is still in lockdown England has opened up if we were in England things would be wonderful because we would have our walker back and things would be starting to open but in Scotland we are still on full lockdown um for the foreseeable future she hasn't Nicola Sturgeon hasn't given us any kind of date as to when that will be reviewed so I apologize regarding videos okay let's get on with the review so this tube is 29 pound which as I said when I talked about it before I think that's a really reasonable price for a drunk elephant product because normally they are much more expensive like I kept on checking it and is it on sale why is it that inexpensive their products generally as far as i can see are around the 40 pound mark um so this is 29 pound for 90 mil that works out at about 32 pence per mil or per, per gram um and so that's about in the middle of all the ones i was talking about last week that's somewhere in the middle um it absorbs really well as you can see i'll show you me putting it on of course but it comes out it's quite liquidy i really like this tube um it's not a really thick cream or anything like that it, it instantly rubs in um i really like how it feels actually this is 20 percent zinc oxide um so there's just that one main ingredient for the sunscreen protection i'm absolutely happy with that and that is broad spectrum this didn't sting at all when i put it on and it, on me it didn't leave a white cast um there's no perfume or alcohol in here and there is a few ingredients that they say are antioxidants and kind of moisturizers etc this um didn't leave my skin feeling tight at all it felt lovely and moisturized but it didn't feel greasy it wasn't one that i felt like i needed to wait for it to sink in before i used my makeup um i've used it probably about four or five times now and it sat absolutely fine under makeup this didn't sting my eyes at all it felt really really nice so from using this I had high hopes. I was like, this is great. This is not too expensive. It feels lovely. It's moisturizing. You know, I've had um, a couple of sunscreens where I need to put an extra moisturizer on. This made my skin feel really nice. Um, let me just, before I tell you the couple of issues I have with it, let me read you what their claims are and I'll tell you what I think of those. So it says, loaded with potent antioxidants. Yep, yeah, it's got some sunflower shoot extract, some grape juice um, to prolong a youthful looking complexion infused with raspberry seed and marula oil so they are nice ingredients to have in here um, umbra sheer also delivers essential moisture and minimizes the look of fine lines and wrinkles for skin that appears healthy and preserved i didn't find that this minimized the look of fine lines and wrinkles i'm not sure there's maybe some silica in there that they maybe think would do that but for me it didn't it didn't make any difference on that <laughs> on that point um, perfect for daily use this non-sticky formula doesn't leave behind any unwanted texture or residue with zero white cast due to its sheer formula so i agree with all of that it was non-sticky um, it didn't leave behind any unwanted texture or residue and it did have a zero white cast on me as you will probably see um, <clears throat> however i had a look at the reviews and the reviews there was a couple of reviews saying that this made people's skin very very dry which I was surprised at and one of them said she didn't normally have dry skin but this had really dried out her skin that's not done that to me at all um I truly think there are just we're all so unique with you know ingredients that work for our skin and ingredients that don't and that sometimes you can't just say this ingredient is hydrating because it's not for everybody you know I have used 
bought and used and reviewed products in the past that are specifically for dry skin and our hydration products and my skin feels tight afterwards you know so I just wanted to let you know that and there's also um, reviews saying that it leaves a white cast so I suspect the reason I'm not seeing that is because I've got very light skin but when I talked about reviewing this somebody left me a comment I can't remember if it's on YouTube or on Instagram I apologize but somebody left me a comment saying that they had used this and it didn't protect them from the sun um, which is a really interesting one so um, I can't always test it very quickly in the sun because I have been I've talked to you before about the fact that I've used SPF as high as I could buy I remember I bought one from Christian Dior because they were the only one that did an SPF 25 when I was like you know I just started earning money I think I was in my 20s or something um, but I have also avoided the sun. I've never been a sun worshipper. Um, I did do sunbeds for a little while and if I went on holiday we would kind of walk around in the sun for a little bit but even when I went with my friend we weren't really into the sun. I don't like the sun. The sun brings me out in allergies. I feel too hot and my husband's the same. We've never really been into sun so we've never gone on sun holidays and sunbathed or anything like that. Um, so I don't always get the chance to test it out however when while I've been using this I have tested this out because it has been a sunny day and I have been walking Watson um, without you know a hat on or anything and so what happened for me was my freckles came out now that says that it's not completely giving me enough protection as I said in that last video I like to use SPF 40 or above um, because that's what I feel like gives me the, the correct protection. So it may just be that I need higher than this. And I don't know whether the math still applies, but the, it used to be that if you, however long you can spend in the sun with no protection until you burn, you times that by the SPF number. So for example, I said I can only spend five minutes maximum in the sun and I would burn. So this would give me 30 times that protection. So that would suggest that this gives me 150 minutes and I wasn't out for that long. Um, so, it, you know, on the one hand, you can say well, this didn't give me the protection, but I do think for me, I just need an SPF 40 or above. But it's interesting that I could see that I, my cheeks were a little bit red, but I wasn't burnt. Um, but like I said, my freckles had come out, which doesn't happen with a high protection. And this other lady had said that it didn't work for her. So that's something to be aware of. The other issue I had with this is that I, on two of the days I was using this, I tried to put my contact lenses in and I, it was blurry and I had I actually changed my contact lens and started a new one thinking maybe it's just that one you know is is too old and it's got too much dirt on it used a new one and it was still blurry and I could not figure out why that was happening so what I did what I normally do is I put my sunscreen on I do my morning skincare routine put my sunscreen on I will then go and wash my hands put my contact lens in and then I will do my makeup. So it was nothing to do with makeup. But the only thing I was thinking is, okay, perhaps, um, you know, I, because I'm putting it quite close to my eyes, although it wasn't stinging, I was like, perhaps some's got into my eyes and that's what's making it blurry. So I, the following day, I put the contact lens in before putting my sunscreen on, but it was still actually blurry. Um, my husband thinks that maybe even though I washed my hands, maybe this was clinging to my hands or something and it didn't it didn't wash off completely something like that I haven't tried it again since but and you know I can't say 100% it was this but I just can't think what else it can be um, it is a problem that I sometimes have with my contact lens I just wear one a mono lens um, and I, it, it does sometimes go blurry so but I just thought I'd mention that so that's all there is to tell you about this one really I will use this probably in the winter I'll use my higher SPFs during the summer during the time the sun is out and then I will use this through the winter and I think this will be absolutely fine in the winter. Um, I'll see what happens with the contact lenses thing and you know let you guys know because if it does keep happening I'll put this in my empties and fails and talk about it there but if it you know was just a fluke or just a coincidence then um, it should be absolutely fine and I do really like the feel of it so let me know how you've got on if you've used this. I know a couple of you were really interested in this review and I wish I could be one way or the other more like this is amazing you should get it and or this is terrible you shouldn't get it um, because I'm more sort of middle of the road at the moment um, but actually overall I would say I think it's really nice I do think it's really nice and it's worked out really well for me but obviously if you have darker skin you may well get a white cast according to the reviews um, and some people it seems 
I would say the dry skin that they're getting seems more like a reaction to an ingredient rather than it just drying out their skin. I mean, there's no alcohol in here or nothing, you know, drying. So um, before this video ends, I wanted to pop back on because I just remembered I didn't tell you about the smell. This has got a little bit of a paint smell. I don't know what it is that smells like that and it is quite faint and it's not, you don't feel like you've walked into a room of, of paint, but it, there is a slight, paint smell um, so I just wanted to let you know in case that would bother you um, yeah let me know what you think thank you very much for watching today um, oh actually let me tell you what my makeup is I have got on the hourglass stick foundation um, I have got on the melt cosmetics eyeshadow palette in what is it called rust the rust palette um, on my lips is the Colourpop liquid lipstick in midnight snack um, on my cheeks is the glossier blush in beam this headband, isn't it cute? I got this from Pretty Little Thing. Can't remember where I got these earrings from. They were in a sale. I think it was Topshop, something like that. And this top is from Zara. So that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.